Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well and happy holidays. This is going to be your yearly 2019 tarot reading, so let's jump right into it. Um, this uh, reading is going to be two parts, you know, the first half of the year and the second half of the year. Let's jump right into it. Aquarius, what can Aquarius expect to happen in the first half of the year? Good. Okay. What about the second half? <clears throat> okay, guys, so the magician is at the bottom of the deck. That's a beautiful card. This is having all the opportunities, having all the tools to manifest the right um, outcome for yourself, better future. The magician is always very active and... Uh, when you get this card, it's almost like the time to start manifesting. It's the time to start doing. Of course, it's not just manifesting, you know, sitting on the couch, dreaming. Like, no, it requires a lot of work. But at the same time, it's an easier time to manifest a good outcome. <clears throat> With the magician here being the overall energy for your year, uh, that's a good indication that you will be able to manifest what you want. Okay, that's nice. So the first half of the year. We're starting out with Ten of Swords. So could this be, could 2018 be one of the worst years for you recently uh, in the last, you know, few years? For those of you that can agree with me, then don't worry. The worst is over. Ten of Swords is just the beginning. It's not just an end, but it's the beginning of something good, of something much better than what you had to deal with prior. To this year okay now uh, for others you know even if it wasn't the worst year that you could remember uh, this could just be a negative situation one of the negative situations coming to an end so now you can finally start with clean slate so why is ten of swords here two of swords could be a difficult decision to end it or will be a difficult decision to end it however it looks like it's been dragging okay uh, from the end or sometime in 2018 so with two of swords it's difficult it's always difficult to make decisions because you're you're blinded to the situation you know you don't see the reality clearly even though you think you do however that confusion is ending the negativity is ending so don't worry about it anymore and the next card I have here is King of Swords. So for a lot of you, this could be medical stuff happening. This could be maybe legal stuff. You're talking to lawyers. Maybe you're dealing with a court case. <clears throat> Something like that could be significant uh, to you towards spring. Okay, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be something negative or something new. Um, most likely, this is something that you've already been dealing with in 2018. And you're just going into new year <clears throat> with that same matter, whether it's legal or maybe medical for some. Why is King of Swords here? This could also talk about, you know, an air sign in your life that's very significant, somebody that maybe helps you in a way, somebody that assists you, somebody that gives you advice, somebody that you will be working with. But I clarified um, King of Swords with the moon. <clears throat> The moon is something unknown. Uh, the moon is something that you're going to find out, but you don't quite know anything about it yet. Uh, the moon is just keeping everything a secret right now for you, just so you find out about it when it's the right time. So something that has to do with the medical matter, something that has to do with um, legal matters, okay, there could be information finally coming through uh, towards spring that you will finally know, that you will finally be aware of and you don't have to worry about it anymore, okay? It's, this situa situation is basically going to start resolving towards, um, towards spring. Now, um, the next card I, ha I have here is the lovers. So for those of you that haven't been on good terms with your partner, maybe that's going to improve, that's going to strengthen, uh, that's going to get on a different level, on a higher level. Okay, for those of you that aren't partnered, there is a very good chance to find a soulmate this year, somebody that you can, um, you, somebody that you have a deep connection with. Okay, so as the lovers here. King of Cups, ooh. Hmm. could be a water sign okay but I don't want <clears throat> to I don't want to tell you that um, it's going to be somebody's sign because 
there's another air sign here you know there is a water sign here um this could be just emotions this could all be about emotions very caring loving feelings that you would experience and uh being an aquarius you know you do you are quite emotional yeah you are a pretty emotional sign but once you are partnered with someone and it looks like there is some kind of partnership here okay uh you will feel even more emotional you will feel more sensual i believe more compassionate so that's a really good thing guys you could actually meet your other half towards the end of uh the first half of the year okay now the second half of the year looks interesting as well we're starting out with uh seven of wands seven of wands is a defensive energy you not really you being stubborn you're not wanting to see the changes or maybe you not wanting to uh you know engage with the cha with the changes uh you not wanting to maybe do extra than what you're already doing so why seven of wands here <clears throat> seven of cups and again this could be a sense of confusion maybe uh for a little while and this is towards i believe i believe early fall late summer okay this could be um, a sense of too many things at once and you're not sure what to choose you're not sure what option to go with you're confused you're you're feeling defensive you're feeling stubborn this could be regarding a big deal okay okay regarding some kind of a deal that um is going to affect your life this could be for example a job that will be in front of you and you will not be sure whether or not to accept it whether or not to go with the change you know uh, maybe it could be something regarding your own um things like maybe starting something of your own you will be confused for a little while about that but again this is something that's going to be beneficial for you so this defensive energy is temporary okay now the next card i have here is the hermit and I, it's actually a good thing uh, for those of you that have been stressing out for quite some time, for those of you that have been so exhausted, so tired, you know, whether it's um, your stress or uh, work, maybe it could be very overwhelming. It is going to be a very good time to go on a retreat, to go uh, be on your own for a little while and to really think about everything it's going to be healthy for you you know the hermit is isolation but isolation on your own when you do choose to be alone when you do choose to do things alone uh, you just want to gain more wisdom basically when you're alone and it would be a really good time to relax really good time to uh, be by yourself to think everything uh. through because there could be a period of confusion here okay um, however, the Hermit could also talk about things going slowly. Um, honestly, guys, you know, I'm looking at everything now and I do not, I barely have any pentacles here. I only have one pentacle card towards the end of the spread. So this could be that maybe financially um, it's not going to be a drastic change. You know what I mean? You're not going to be making uh, more money, nor you will be making less money. It's going to be pretty much the same financially for you in 2019. Regarding love, however, it could be more interesting than that, okay? This could be actually a good time to be partnered with somebody. Um, legal matters would also come through, okay? They would be successful for you. Medical things would also be successful for you. But I do not see that much action, if you know what I mean. I do not really see um, you not improving your financial situation, but um, I do not see drastic changes, okay? So with the hermit here, everything could be just going with the flow. Uh, everything could be going naturally, if you know what I mean, without any drastic changes, any drama, any uh, transformations and stuff like that. So why is the hermit here? And I did see the sun at the bottom of the deck, so you could be very satisfied. Oh, here it is again, the sun. So you, you will be pretty satisfied. You know, this is something that you will want. This is something that you're going to feel content with. I did clarify two of uh, 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 the hermit with two of pentacles. And the hermit, um, two of pentacles, <clears throat> sorry, I, I can never speak. Um, <laughs> two of pentacles is... Uh, a card of juggling uh, so maybe at some point you will want to move forward faster you know but you will feel like there is too much all at once 
Um, it's difficult energy with two of pentacles. It's like juggling thoughts, juggling feelings, juggling responsibilities, um, juggling um, chores, you know, whatever you need to be doing. So maybe because you will have to juggle for so long, or you've been juggling for so long, this is why you will decide to be more on your own and to let it go with the flow rather than to be more active, right? I feel like this year would be a year of breaks and relaxation for you and not really putting in too much hard work, honestly. Because I do have Knight of Pentacles, which I'm completing the reading with. Knight of Pentacles is a very slow approach. It's the right approach. It's the very, very careful approach. Uh, you're moving towards your goal. You know where you're going. You know what you're going to receive at the end, but you're going to be very careful about it. So why is Knight of Pentacles here? Next to the Hermit, it just seems like you're going to be moving very slow. And you're going to be very happy about it, okay? You're going to be pretty satisfied with everything. Maybe too much juggling, that's what will lead you to be like, you know what? I'm just going to relax and see what happens. And I do have Four of Cups here, clarifying uh, Knight of Pentacles. So don't hesitate to do anything, okay? But don't hesitate to move that slow. Don't hesitate hesitate to take breaks. Like I said, guys, I do not see any major changes in 2019, but I do see some things happening. I do see some bad things ending, some good things starting, some things resolving. Your relationship is being very good, okay? But I do not see um, a sudden drastic increase in money, Um nor do I see something uh, drastic changing with your life, you know what I mean, generally. It's a good year. It's still a good year. It's just more chill uh, rather than um, crazy, overwhelming, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.